To ascertain the physical mechanism of NIDA against embedded sand fleas, a study was conducted on naturally infected pigs in Uganda. Mute B. F. and Feldmeyer H. Unpublished Observation. Specifically, five drops were directed to the rear abdominal cone of an embedded sand flea. Following surgical removal, the sand fleas were scrutinized using a handheld light microscope to determine if dimetacone had permeated the rear abdominal cone. In every instance, the high viscosity dimetacone sealed the abdominal cone of embedded sand fleas, confirming the physical mode of action of dimetacones on these pests. Mute B and Feldmeyer, Unpublished Observation. Dimetacones, also known as polydimethyl siloxanes or silicone oils, are composed of fully methylated linear siloxane polymers with repeating units of the formula CH3, 2CO, and trimethylsiloxy end blocking units. They are translucent, nearly odorless fluids. The mode of action of dimetacones was investigated in head lice, Pediculus humanus capitis, and house crickets, Echeta domestica. Upon application of nida on the abdomen and thorax of the insects, dimetacone quickly spread over the chitinous cuticle, forming a closed oil layer. Within one minute, it entered the respiratory tract through the 14 stigmata, the entry points to the tracheal system located at the lateral side of the insect. Nida completely filled the insect's head trachea in less than one minute, while in head lice, the entire tracheal system filled within 3.5 minutes. This led to the obstruction of the oxygen supply to the brain. The cuticle of blood-sucking insects, covered with a film of high-viscosity dimeticone, prevents them from expelling water taken in with a blood meal, ultimately disrupting the intestine. These observations were replicated in pig lice, parasites larger than human lice. Mute B. F. and Feldmeyer H. Unpublished Observation. Considering the purely physical mode of action, it is challenging to conceive how insects could develop resistance against a compound that swiftly eliminates parasites. This is particularly true when the mechanism operates within a very brief time frame. The rationale for employing dimeticones in treating tungiasis lies in the fact that once a female sand flea becomes embedded in the skin, it maintains contact with the environment through a small opening in the corneal layer. In the rear abdominal cone protruding above the skin, crucial organs such as the respiratory, intestinal, and genital tracts are located. Although the precise diameter of the openings of these tracts is not known, it is significantly less than 20 micrometers. Only fluids with no surface tension can penetrate such minute openings. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and activate the notification bell if you wish to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.